Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Ugh. Um, maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then? What are they screaming at you? What are they Try screaming that. at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Maybe you hmm. shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? That is a bit of a problem. Uh, so you're a woodworker then? Could you make me something? Listen about... Yeah, I need a sword. Uh, listen about that big mess upstairs. Will you help me kill Mog Chakra? Actually, given the size of him... Uh, ballista might be a better idea. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Hmm... A weapon to kill Chog... Uh, Mog Chathra? A weapon to kill Mog Chathra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. <laughs> okay. Uh, make me a stool. Listen about that big mess upstairs. Uh. Okay. Make okay, me a stool. Okay. Make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. No. Oh. Uh, will you help me kill Magchatra? Will you help me kill Magchatra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But mm. I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Magchatra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchatra. Hmm, that's not encouraging. All right, so about that mess Listen, upstairs. about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Yeah, it was a tree. Just don't go up there and find out that it's actually a ladder. It's a very tree-shaped ladder. They're using a new tactic. Uh, He's probably going to believe the tree thing more than that I fell out of the clouds, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I'll just go with the truth. No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Uh Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Catch you That's later, cool. Curtis. Beware the trees. Yeah. Oh man. I fell out of the I fell out of the sky. You know, out the clouds. That's cool. Need the air anyways. Hey, here's oh, some wood. That wood is playing a vital security function where it is. Hmm. Hey, here's some wood. That wood is playing a vital security function. I feel like I should get to is. know that guy before I steal his art. <laughs> before you steal it? Yes, of course. Get to know him first. Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. They were looking at me. Hmm. You seem to have a problem. As do a lot of people in this universe. Um. What's over here? You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. Hmm. Excellent. We are armed. Again. You ripped the trees out of this painting, too? No, that one was ripped when I bought it. Wear and tear are part of the charm of a vintage item. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else we can do down here. Can we... Is there anything else we can Hi. do in talking to hey, him? Bella. We didn't tell him what it, our name was, I don't think. Uh, hey, about this art. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What, what is, is it? it? Well... You know, it's abstract. <laughs> it's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. All right. Uh, where'd you get where'd it? Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of Sli town. Slightly. Uh... How do you know it's hanging right side up? How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. <laughs> uh, uh, aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Mm. Um, can I have can it? Can I have it? No way, man, that thing's vintage. I like how it vintage. matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically. 
but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. That was a very weird conversation. Um, okay, make me a stool so you, oh yeah. Okay, Catch you later, Curtis. Yeah. Beware the trees. Yeah, I will certainly beware the trees. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Hmm. Uh, what is it? What's this supposed to be? A little man with a bad haircut? I guess at first glance one might see it that way. Hmm. I could get used to carrying an axe around. Feels nice. Mm-hmm. Um, well, oh, can I cut the peach? I don't need to slice it. I could just eat it. Hmm. Um, okay, well, let's head on out into the wilderness and make sure we're armed. I really don't want to ax myself. Okay. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? <laughs> and when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Hmm. This is a really weird place. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. Yeah, it's okay. Doesn't matter. There might be a hungry snake out there wanting to eat people, but that's all right. Oh, wow. At least we have an ax. Uh, what, what about over here? What's in the mailbox? Hmm. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Hmm. Well, it's a nice looking house. If it wasn't all boarded up. Or by a swamp. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? <laughs> hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Can I chop them down? No? Let's try going left. Oh, is this the west versus east thing that he was talking about? Maybe. Wait, is this east? West? Oh! Hey! Uh, <laughs> well, that's oh. a problem. Oh boy. This is tight. Oh, I can actually do stuff. I thought that corset was bad. I can't use my hands. Let's use the tuba. Ah! Well, that worked. Okay. Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. Okay, so we have to go to the right then. Not towards the left. Towards the left is really bad. What's in this direction? Oh, it is talking. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. <laughs> kind of freaking me out. Let's use the axe on it. I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh, oh, murder! Axe wielding psychopath right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look, uh. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! No, you're gonna ah, need that! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Okay, um... Ooh, uh, I'm here on behalf of Curtis the Lumberjack. Why are you so upset? Are you magic? Can you help me kill Mog Chothra? Are you magic? Can you help me kill Mog Chothra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. Hmm. Uh, you got a little something in the corner you of your got mouth. a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Hmm. Uh, can I have some of your sap? Why are you so upset? Hey, yeah, sure. can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. Hmm. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Hmm. Is he a maple tree? I've never seen a talking tree before. I've never seen a talking tree before. 
Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Hmm. I'll let you get back to your screaming. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. Hmm. Wow. Um. No, no, before I do anything What's like that, let me... supposed to be? A little... Let me finish talking to him. Um, I'm... Hmm. Why are you so upset? Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It Ooh. makes me sick. Uh, can I have some of your sap? No, I already did that. Uh, I'm here on behalf of Curtis the Lumberjack. I'm here on behalf of Curtis the Lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Mm. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce mining her own branches. Then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. A stool. Say it, what did Curtis do to the old Say spruce? It. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He he butchered her! Turned her into a a stool! <laughs> oh god! I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Um hmm. Please don't scream anymore? Please don't scream anymore! You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! Hmm. I'll let you get back okay. to your screaming. Yeah. Let's see. Please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. Let's see if we can get that <sighs> that axe again. Uh, should be over here, lodged in another tree. Oh no! Ah, uh, I went off into the bushes. We're not gonna find it again. We're not gonna be able to find it again. That's okay. Let's go to the right. I think we could have headed even further to the right. So let's try that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I actually wanted to examine that in the background. Do we have another opportunity? Nope, we don't. Hello, Shell Mound. So that's Looks Shell like Mound. Looks like Mog Chothra hasn't been here yet. Okay. Oh. Oh, uh, it's all part of the tree. Okay, I thought I could actually examine the, the sand castles in the background, but I can't. Okay. So I guess we're going to scare away some birds, some seagulls. 